fragmentation and polarity are ripping our country apart. This breaks my heart and breaks the hearts of all patriotic Americans, whether we are Democrats, Republicans, or independents. So today I come before you to make a stand for the center, to appeal to all of you to bridge our differences and stand up for the American people. It's funny, I thought pandering to the non-existent mythical center was something that purported progressives hated, but now that uh, their dear Tulsi has done it, hmm, different tune. Uh, well, Tulsi Gabbard is not seeking re-election in 2020, but that doesn't mean that she is not above political calculations and pandering, but not to her constituents, to the right, to her potential Fox News employers, to her incel male followers. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not holding back anymore because she's come full circle as an alt-right darling with this latest move as she positions herself for the token Fox News Democrat who hates Democrats role and appeases Trump by voting present on impeachment. Democratic presidential candidate Representative Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii voted present on both articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump on Wednesday, later slamming the process as politically motivated. He committed a crime. The obstruction by the Republicans is what is politically motivated. But but yeah, you know, you got to secure that spot as Dave Rubin's co-host or Tucker, Tucker Carlson's regular contributor. The crime is obvious, guys. Most Americans see that, you can see, see it in the polling. Okay, you can argue it wasn't a big deal. You can argue that he's committed greater crimes th that he should be impeached for, which I agree with, but this is a crime. It is clear. So the only thing that's politically motivated is her response, but not political in the literal sense in her role as a representative, political in the, I want to get this kind of job later sense. And yeah, also she just, you know, maybe she just wants the attention. I don't know, it, it's, a, it's a flabbergasting move by her. After doing my due diligence and reviewing the 658 page impeachment report, I came to the conclusion that I could not in good conscience vote either yes or no. Gabbard, who declined to talk with reporters following her votes, always a good sign, said in a statement soon afterward. She added that she could not oppose impeachment because I believe President Trump is guilty of wrongdoing, nor could she back it because removal of a sitting president must not be the culmination of a partisan process fueled by tribal animosities that have so gravely divided our country. Okay, you're on the Hill. You know he's not gonna be removed because the Republicans control the Senate and you, you, you need two thirds. So that's not gonna happen. This is a fantasy land where you're just excusing away your vote. But it's, it's, it's literally your constitutional duty to do so. It says it right there on that document, on that book that you swore an oath on. So if he's guilty of wrongdoing, best case scenario, when you're, when you're voting present, you're abdicating your constitutional duty to impeach him based on the very partisan concerns that you're saying make you uneasy. But worst case scenario, which is, come on guys, this is the reality. This is who she is. This is who, or she, who she's become. I mean, I, I read that article about her political background. It is bizarre. I, I fear she has no coherent political ideology beyond being an antagonist to the establishment and appeasing online skeptics and loud people who just want to hate the process for the sake of hating the process, as opposed to looking at things on an individual basis. You can think the Hunter Biden thing was shady. I do, I do. Again, you can think he committed greater crimes, but you cannot vote this way and still call yourself a progressive and still say you think that he committed wrongdoing. To find this center and say you're a progressive, let alone her support for fascist Modi, the donations she's received from far-right Hindu nationalists, her vote not to allow Syrian refugees in, her Johnny-come-lately co-sponsorship of Medicare for All, which her supporters then go after Warren about, even though she co-sponsored it right away, her past equivocation on torture. I mean, how many signs do you guys need that she has right-wing inclinations and is auditioning for a right-wing show? How many? Because she fooled me at first years ago, but then I looked into the facts a little bit more as her record was delivered delineated and I figured this out pretty quickly. So it's about time others did too. Just because you're an outsider and hated by the establishment does not mean you're a progressive. I mean, look at Ted Cruz. 
In Tulsi's case, it means she's an opportunist, and that's become very clear with this vote. 